break the ice. At a party or conference, you might have heard attendees encourage each other to break the ice by being the first to talk to a stranger. Go ahead and introduce yourself to her. Break the ice. Your friend might encourage you during a class. Your mother might always be the first to talk to strangers. If you break the ice, you'll see that most people are very friendly. As you can tell by now, to break the ice means to start the conversation to get people talking by talking first. Breaking the ice turns an awkward, silent situation into a comfortable, chatter-filled environment where people feel more at ease. Whether it's two people meeting for the first time or a large meeting of people, someone needs to break the ice by being the first to talk. It's easy to imagine ice forming when it's cold outside, and cold is the word often used for someone who is not very friendly, not very talkative. In the same way, cold can be used to describe a gathering of people where no one is socializing, no one is chatting, no one is making connections. Thus, the ice that forms when someone or a situation is cold needs to be broken. Shakespeare used the idiom, break the ice, in his play, The Taming of the Shrew, in exactly the manner we use it today, in 1592. Break the ice is also easy to imagine as a metaphor for a ship designed to break ice in waterways, making it easier for other ships to sail the waters. After you break the ice with someone, you might then break bread with them. You might share a meal together and become closer as a result. The related idiom, break bread, literally means to break bread into pieces so that you can share it at a meal. But it has now come to mean sharing, whether a meal or something else. If you break bread with someone, you are not only physically carrying out an act, but are also affirming your comfort, your trust, and your confidence in that person. Starting off with a joke is a good way to break the ice when you have to give a lecture, your professor might say. If you and a friend are going on a double date, you might ask your friend, Please break the ice tonight. I'm too shy to do it. Whatever social situation you find yourself in, don't forget that the sooner you break the ice, the better.